Coming up on City View, the ATX Hack for Change event is bringing out all kinds of animals, literally. Plus, get ready, change is coming to a bus stop near you. And the city kicks off engagement efforts on a possible soccer stadium in North Austin. Hi, thanks for joining us. I'm your host, Marissa Monroy. The public hearing process for Code Next is well underway, and now it's City Council's turn. Code Next is the City of Austin initiative to rewrite our land development code for the first time in more than 30 years. The staff recommendation, released in February, is the result of years of engagement, research, and teamwork across many city departments and with countless community members. The public hearing process began in late April with the Planning Commission and Zoning and Planning Commission. The process has given Austinites the opportunity to speak directly to the city's policy-making bodies about the project. The City Council will host Code Next public hearings on May 29th and June 2nd at City Hall. Information about the public hearing process can be found on the Code Next website, austintexas.gov slash Code Next. City Manager Spencer Cronk recently announced Interim Police Chief Brian Manley is the sole finalist for the Permanent Police Chief position. Interim Chief Manley was asked to set out his vision for leading and transforming public safety in Austin. In the short two months that I've been here, I have spent a lot of time out in community talking to many individuals about some important aspects of the future of Austin. But at the end of the day, one of the most important requirements of how we move forward as a city is how we deal with public safety. And the person in charge of our public safety is our police chief. And each of you are critical in that conversation. I inherited a great department, but no police department can stand still in time. We have to pay attention to what's going on. When you see officers in their full dress uniforms and we've got our ribbons on, those ribbons signify a lot of different things. We didn't have one that covered community engagement, but yet we say we value that. So we created one. Officers can now be rewarded and be recognized for their efforts in the community on building the relationships that, again, we say are so important. After reviewing feedback from the public, City Manager Kronk will decide whether to hire Manley into the position permanently or to widen the pool of candidates through a national search. More frequent, more reliable, better connected. That's what Capital Metro says that you can expect from their new bus system, set to roll out on June 3rd. More than half of Cat Metro's routes will see some level of change. To help people get used to the new service routes, Cat Metro is offering everyone free bus rides from June 3rd through June 9th. Look for more frequent bus service and a bus network that has more direct routing. For more information, visit catmetro.org slash remap. The City of Austin's Economic Development Department hosted information sessions to engage the community on a potential Major League Soccer Stadium proposed at the 10,000 block of McCalla Place, a publicly owned tract of land. What we do and what we have historically done is repurpose formerly city-owned land to offer a number of community benefits to the city. Including Input provided housing. during the information sessions and through Speak Up Austin will help the city determine the community benefits that should be considered when entering into a partnership for a project such as a soccer stadium. What we're being asked to do by city council with this resolution is really discern what are the values, what are the trade-offs, uh, what is the North Star based on community input that is important to the community relative to this proposed stadium concept. We don't have a specific proposal. So what we have is a thought, a plan, a proposed business model, but nothing really specific. So it's very important that we engage the community this early to let everybody be on notice that this is actually a part of the conversation that's happening and it's not happening behind closed doors. It's happening out here in the public and in the public eye for the public to weigh in and engage in. Staff will provide a detailed analysis of McCalla Place and engagement input as part of the report to the Austin City Council by June 1st. For more information, visit austintexas.gov slash McCalla. A policy aimed at making it easier for communities and promoters to organize special events ranging from music festivals to 5K runs gets a green light from Austin City Council. The Special Events Ordinance, approved on May 10th, amends City Code to streamline and consolidate planning efforts for multiple events throughout the year. 
The measure is the culmination of years of planning and collaboration with residents and event organizers. That collaborative effort with the community will continue as Austin Center for Events develops the rules which determine how the policy is implemented. The special events ordinance will be in effect for events starting April 1, 2019. In late April, Austin competed against nearly 70 cities from around the world in the 2018 City Nature Challenge. Oh, nice. Cool. Cities competed to photograph and identify the most plant, fungi, and animal species. As part of Austin's efforts, the city's Watershed Protection Department hosted a few events for community members led by expert staff biologists and local naturalists. I mean, do you want all your citizens just inside their houses and just not aware of what's going on around them? I think not, right? So I think it's, it's hard. There's so many different types of plants and animals and insects out there. This is just an opportunity to learn some more that you're not familiar with, and I do think it's important. Within four days, participants in Austin submitted more than 17,000 entries. In this international competition, Austin placed in the top 10 for both the number of species photographed and identified. For more information about the competition, visit citynaturechallenge.org. Council member Jimmy Flanagan was recently joined by City and St. Edward staff and some very special guests to announce the dates for this year's Civic Hackathon. Uh, thank you so much for volunteering your time. This is a, a great cause. Austin's annual Civic here, Hackathon, uh, ATX Hack for Change, lasts from June 1st through June 3rd this year. This one-of-a-kind Civic Hackathon is a time for all Austinites to come together to try to solve issues facing our community. And it's a great partner for our open data program. This year, the ATX Hack for Change team really wanted to make sure everyone heard the message. So we're going to start seated with our legs crossed. Anyone can hack. Enter the tiny baby goats. <laughs> well, A, I think it's a great way to kick off Hack for Change and bring awareness to people who um, haven't heard of Hack for Change before or maybe don't know what it is. So just a great draw to get people in the door. Release your arms, come back into tabletop. Let's do the other side. St. Edwards University, with its mascot, Topper the Goat, arranged for ATX Goat Yoga to offer the classes, both for the ATX Hack for Change news Benedict. conference and as part of an event to help students unwind before the grind of finals. St. Ed's has hosted ATX Hack for Change for six years. In that time, nearly 1,700 hackers have worked on more than 150 projects. Each project needs a wide range of skills, from coders to communicators, and a drive to make a difference, making each of these solutions uniquely Austin. The mayor kicks this event off every year, and last year he said, you know, get, you don't get more Austin than a Civic Hackathon. And we kind of thought, you know, challenge accepted. <laughs> we'll do a news conference with some goats. You too can be part of the fun. Hoof it on over to atxhackforchange.org to learn more and sign up. That's all for this edition of City View. I'm your host, Marissa Monroy. Our next episode premieres on May 28th. Thanks for watching.